have a plan, um, you know, get a taxi already, a taxi number already saved in your phone or download the Uber app, um, you know, the app where you can order a driver um, to take you home. Uh, one thing that I love to highlight about taking a taxi and Uber driving with the city of Fredericksburg is that when you come downtown, sometimes parking is at a premium. Yeah. So when you use those services, you take up a, a plethora of other issues off the table. You know, as as um, as a driver, then I don't necessarily have to worry about where I'm going to park, where am I going to, how am I going to remember where I parked, or those one way streets that are are tricky. Yeah, you know. Um, and then actually I can maybe have a drink and enjoy my time with my family or my friends, you know, and just really um, get to enjoy some life. Well, and w- when you talk about preventable, you, you don't want to have the loss of life. But beyond that, it's, a, it's, it's expensive. It can be embarrassing. And just to, just, to, just to get a ticket for drunk driving. That's right. You know, um, it can cost up to $10,000 uh, when you consider all factors, when you're considering attorney's fees, loss of wages, towing fees. Um, it's a very, very expensive mistake to make. Um, you know, when you could have paid maybe $30 to hire mm-hmm. your taxi or your Uber, um, you know, $10,000 is quite a difference, you know. Um, like I said, and you mentioned, you know, it's, it's embarrassing, you know, that's also a big price to pay too. That you can't even put money on, you yeah. know, or just the inconvenience of needing rides to and from if you're convicted. Um, you know, so we're just urging people to please think ahead, to please plan, um, you know, even if you don't have somebody with you, maybe have someone at home that you could call, you know, just another person is a backup plan. In, in some ways, it takes some courage to be able to do that, to say, I can't do it. I don't want to, I don't want to take the chance. But, Absolutely. But don't do it because a lot of times a lot of us will think, I can do it. You know, it's, I'm, I'm only going a couple of miles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But all these things we've talked about can, can still happen. Absolutely. You know, I've seen it on both sides. I've seen someone, you know, clearly get into a car and, and drive and then be charged and, you know, convicted with DUI. But I've also seen people make the right decision. And that um, is really encouraging. People get up to the car and say, you know, I'm just not going to do that tonight and make the phone call, you know. And um, I think that's the best decision, especially when someone, if your life or someone else's life is at risk. Well, and we talk so much and make a big deal and should about distracted driving. This is another this is another distracted driving thing. That Absolutely. It, it is distracted. It's um, there's, you know, people normally say drunk driving and they think, OK, well, if I'm over that point zero eight limit, then I'm drunk driving. But, you know, there's also impaired driving. So if you have one or two drinks, you're still affecting your ability to operate a motor vehicle. And so, I, you know, that's why I say have a sober driver. And also be aware that uh, these next few nights, Fredericksburg City Police and law enforcement you know, will be watching. That is correct. Um, you know, it is the holiday season. It is something that um, we know that is an increased time of joy and happiness and celebrating. Um, so we are out there. There, are, I was speaking with Captain Layton yesterday about having um, extra patrols out for four DUI drivers. Um, also, um, some checkpoints. So just be uh, aware and on the alert that uh, we are having those. So if, um, you know, you don't take warning with just, you know, you know, your own personal warnings, then take heed that we are out there on the streets and we will be enforcing it this holiday season.